hello and welcome to this week's weekly reading vlog so honestly i have no idea what i'm going to end up reading this week this week i want to get my currently reading shelf on goodreads down right now in my currently reading shelf there are 15 books some of which i haven't touched since like june july 2021 some of which are like leftovers from like TBRs from like this year and a lot of which I've started during March and April which as I'm recording this it's still April it is today Monday the 25th of April uh, I've just started them and not ended up finishing them it's quite a few arcs that I need to finish for NetGalley so they're on here because I've started them but not ended up getting through them there's quite a big stack of physical books here that I've started this month and not finished and there's also still a couple of books that I do need to read but I haven't started yet but to complete this month's TBR I still need to read Gone Girl and Twilight honestly the amount of books that there are I don't know what I'm going to read what I'm going to finish what I'm going to maybe soft DNF for now what I'm going to get to but I wanted to start this video so tonight I am planning on finishing reading a book called Book Anxiety it's one that I've got for like a net galley arc I've got one day left to read it and I haven't read it because I'm not enjoying it but because obviously like I need to give it some sort of review I don't want to DNF it and I'm over halfway so yeah I guess I just need to get on with it and get reading it so that's the only book that I need to read tonight it is currently like I don't even know what time oh it's currently 10 p.m so okay that's all I'm gonna read tonight uh yeah I don't really have a plan don't really know exactly what I'm doing but I'll catch up and like give information as and when I start new books as and when I'm reading different things and just keep you updated so yeah this week's re weekly reading vlog is cutting down my currently reading list so yes let's uh give it a go okay so i finished book anxiety i've given it one star honestly i feel a bit bad about giving it one star because like you know it was like an arc i got it through net galley but it wasn't good honestly like maybe some people would find it good but i just found it very cringy and like it was trying really hard to be hip which like it wasn't and i also found that it was really just regurgitating a lot of the same information and not giving any new information and then suddenly last night when i was reading it well i actually finished it off this morning but i put it down last night because i was just really confused but yeah when i when i went to read it this morning it turns out that like the last 15 percent of the book just turned into like an activity book basically with like crosswords and coloring pages and like prompted writing but throughout the rest of the book like activities had been like introduced within sections so there's like little activities after sections so yeah it just wasn't good honestly i've given it one star I was going to give it two stars and then I went through my ratings for like the rest of 2022 and uh, there's one book that I've given 2.5 stars to and I was like okay yeah this was like considerably worse than that and there's one other book that I gave one star to and I went to it and I was like ah. they're very different books well like this I my experience reading this and how I felt this book was was worse than that so I went for one star in the end and yeah like that's that really i think i've got a few more like arcs on my kindle so that's what i'm going to prioritize for like today i think um i think i've got like two arcs that i've almost finished but just haven't quite which are if i find them out so one of those is lunar tides which is a poetry collection that one's on the kindle and then the other one that i'm going to read some of is monster mind and that one is on the phone um the reason i haven't been reading that one as much is the e arc of it like i'm assuming that it's just going to be published as a physical book because it's like really stretched i don't know if you can see like obviously i don't want to like 
show the entire thing and like give stuff away but yeah it's really difficult to read because it is like really stretched and i don't know if it's meant to be like that like is that the artistic style and my eyes just can't deal with it or like is it just not a very good like e version of it which i think is probably the Okay, so yeah, that, that's a graphic novel, so Monster Might, it's just a graphic novel about dealing with anxiety and self-doubt, which I, mean, I was really looking forward to it until I read the last one, the Fuck Anxiety one, and now I'm like, I hope it's not like that. And yeah, then Luna Tides is a collection of poetry dealing with love, grief, and water, but it's structured within the lunar calendar, so yeah. Uh, honestly that's what it says on there I'm not really understanding the whole like how it's structured thing so far it doesn't really seem to change much no matter what heading of like moon phase that it's under but I'm like 35% of the way through that one so I guess I'll find out but yeah it'd be really nice to finish both of those today because that really would cut down my current reading shelf and mean that I feel a bit better about picking up a bigger book but we'll just have to wait and see Okay, so Jay's just finishing off tea. I am keeping the boys entertained with their laser. Um, and Jay last week read volume one of Heartstopper. So I think we can now watch episodes one, two, and three. We're just gonna watch episode one tonight. But yeah, I will link the uh, video up above in one of these corners. Uh, me and Jay swapped books and he read Heartstopper and he enjoyed it. So we're gonna watch um, episode one called meat um which obviously if you've read the graphic novels it's going to be how they're meeting the graphic novels as well but yeah we're, we're both pretty excited for it so i'm gonna get on with that um uh, jay's literally just dishing up so yeah i'm gonna watch some heartstopper okay so um i finished monster mind it was really good i've given it four stars like it wasn't amazing but I did really like genuinely enjoy it. I enjoyed how the story went and like how the book was split up and everything and it ended very hopeful even though especially at the start it didn't feel like a very hopeful book. It felt quite overwhelming and very real um but yeah it was a good time. It was just a cute little graphic novel like it wasn't very big. I think it was like less than 150 pages. It was really small but it was a really good time like well Good time probably isn't the best way to like explain it. I don't think I've said what it's about. It's about dealing with anxiety and self-doubt. So yeah, like not like a fun read, but I think quite an important read and I found it really good. So yeah, uh, I'll probably finish the poetry book very soon as well. So expect another check-in very shortly. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious and panic the infinite vastness of all that is blackness
Hello. So this week actually turned out to be kind of a mess. Um, I don't know when I last updated. I think I've finished a poetry book since last updated, that's for sure. Um, and I've got like one hour left of this audiobook, so I'm definitely going to finish this tonight. So I think that my Goodreads list will go down to 11. And I think it's at like 15 or 16 at the start of the week. So we've got it down. Mission's accomplished. It's lowered. Definitely need to lower it more. But yeah. Uh, sorry that this has probably been a really short one. Honestly, like, I just haven't been doing a lot. And then, like, you know, like, I've been out the last two days because it's been, like, a long bank holiday weekend. So people have been up for digging stuff. And I've filmed bits and pieces, but there's... I, don't, I haven't looked through it yet, but there's probably, like, half, half a minute of footage. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like if you liked it, subscribe down below if you'd like to see more. Hopefully next week's vlog will be a bit more interesting. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!